Elegy on Thurza, Lord Byron The loved one is dead and the hurt is real. It would be too painful to go and look upon the grave, but at least the memories remain of the best of times, which were not marred by having watched the slow deterioration of a body. Perhaps in this way the loveliness lives on. Elegy on Thursa. And thou art dead, as young and fair as aught of mortal birth, and form so soft and charm so rare, to soon return to earth. Though earth receive them in her bed, and o'er the spot the crowd may tread, in carelessness or mirth, there is an eye which could not brook a moment on that grave to look. I will not ask where thou liest low, nor gaze upon the spot. There flowers or weeds at will may grow, so I behold them not. It is enough for me to prove that what I love them long must love, like common earth can rot. To me there needs no stone to tell, tis nothing that I loved so well. Yet did I love thee to the last, as fervently as thou, who didst not change through all the past, and canst not alter now. The love where death has set his seal, nor age can chill, nor rival steal, nor falsehood disavow. And what were worse, thou canst not see, or wrong, or change, or fault in me. The better days of life were ours, the worst can be but mine. The sun that cheers, the storm that lowers, shall never more be thine. The silence of that dreamless sleep, I envy now too much to weep, nor need I to repine that all those charms have passed away, I might have watched through long decay. The flower and ripened bloom unmatched must fall the earliest prey, though by no hand untimely snatched, the leaves must drop away, and yet it were a greater grief to watch it withering leaf by leaf than see it plucked today, since earthly eye but ill can bear to trace the change to foul from fair. I know not if I could have borne to see thy beauties fade. The night that followed such a morn had worn a deeper shade. Thy day without a cloud hath passed, and thou wert lovely to the last. Extinguished, not decayed, as stars that shoot along the sky, shine brightest as they fall from high. As once I wept, if I could weep, my tears might well be shed, to think I was not near to keep one vigil o'er thy bed. To gaze how fondly on thy face, to fold thee in a faint embrace. Uphold thy drooping head, and show that love, however vain, nor thou nor I can feel again. Yet how much less it were to gain, though thou hast left me free, the loveliest things that still remain, than thus remember thee. The all of thine that cannot die through dark and dread eternity returns again to me and more thy buried love endears than aught except its living years.